Hi everybody, this is Sherry at Share Bear Cottage and uh, welcome. And today we're going to work on our CW planner number 14. I have most of my stuff ready right here. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Um, one thing I don't have is something royal. I don't know, except royal purple. I have a purple, royal purple button, but besides that, let's take a look. Okay, so we ended up with number 13, I believe. Yes, number 13. And I did add a few things on here that um, I don't think that you saw me add. One of the things was the little pink flowers along the side here. Let's see. And I put in um, some rhinestones. You can see there. Turned out pretty good. And I used some of the... Um, uh, this looks like moss down here was my intention. It was green and I used some ink on it to ink it up a little bit. And this is my, gosh, why can't I think of the name of this? Anyway, I have some butterflies here that has the same thing behind. And when I think of the name of it, I'll let you know. And um, the other thing that I did was I added these three little rosebuds right here. Yeah. And then I uh, inked this part here and, and around the edges somewhat. So we're finished with that. And this is called cheesecloth. Why can't I remember that? I don't know. And so is this. This was the plane. I hadn't dyed it at all. I just put it over that paper. This was dyed green with the ink on it. So we're ready to go on to number 14. Okay. So here's number 14. It looks a mess. But what I've done is just, you know, um, put some ink around, you know, that I don't think is going to be covered. You know how I always like this covered anyway. So in, in uh, Collage Weekly Planner number 14, they're asking for buttons, real, drawn, or stamped. They're asking for something royal, which I really don't think I have, except I have a, a royal purple button and a poem oh gosh I didn't get a poem we might have to stop the video for that one and a schematic I have a couple pieces of schematic which I just randomly found and then two of something have two of something and the bonus would be something purple so we may have to find, I was looking around for, you know, like a crown, but I couldn't even find that. So, we'll go ahead and we'll get started. What I did do, I didn't put all the things down uh, because I thought maybe you'd want to watch me do that. This right here is just a piece of scrap paper that I got out of my scrap bundle. And what it did is um, it printed wrong. So this is really supposed to be a different color completely. But I love the way the color came out and so I kept it. <clears throat> I've used a lot of it. And so we're going to put this down right here on the page. I'm going to move the book out of the way and we're going to put some glue on this. All right. It's a nice warm day here and I got started a little later than normally but I wanted to go ahead and get this on get this in the can so they say and um, I hope everybody out there is having a good day bring this book back the book's going to be very chunky, I think, when I, I finally set and done. When it's all finally set and done. Yep, we'll push that down in the, in the crease. 
Then smooth this out. I think I'll use my bone folder for this part right there. There we go. And smooth out that. I hope you guys have been having fun, you know, watching how this uh, series goes. I know there's a lot of people, you know, online that are doing this series. And, you know, it's fun to watch. But and then again, I don't want to watch because I don't want to see what they're doing. I don't want to be <laughs> influenced by um you know what they're putting down but sometimes i like to take a look okay so now what i think i did um do some uh papers for some collage over here and so i thought let's see maybe this one was for over here uh, probably that one was for there Oh, and I think this one was for over here, yes. Or, yeah, it was that way, right side up. And what else do we have? I had something else for that. Let's see, maybe down here? Yeah, this one. Okay, let's put these up and we'll find something for the middle. All right. I'm going to see if I can leave it up here or just put it on the book. There we go. Let's try it right there. It doesn't have to be all the way down because it's got a nice little edge on it that we'd like to see. Okay. And which one do we want down first? Do we want it over the top or do we want it under? Mm. Well, I think I think I like it under. Okay, so we'll do this one first. Just have to make sure we get it down far enough. over that one and I think this would be plenty over here a little bit more blue Whoop. all right and then we'll put this one on top yeah, I like that very much so let's get a little glue on that I wish they had the technology to be able to um, have you here with me. So I can say, should we put this one over here? And you can say, no, no, no. Or you could say, yes, put that one there. Let's see. Do we want just another little piece of this in the middle? Let's get a darker color if we can, or a lighter color. Here I have this piece. I think that would work if I darken the edges a little bit. Okay. Do we like that? Or do we want it this way? And then what do I have here? Do I have something? Oh, and then I could put like this there. Should we do that? Hmm. Or like this here. What do you think? A little on top. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here. I'll just put this on here like this. I have some little edges here to put down, so it will be fine. 
And then this little guy, I'm just rolling it over the top. If you're new to junk journaling, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know. And I could, you know, um, make my videos a little more geared towards beginners. Um, I think that would be a whole lot of fun. Of course, every time I go to do a junk journal, I feel like a beginner myself. <laughs> but I've been doing this a long time. And I love it. I, I'm just on this kick. I can't... I can't seem to stop. <laughs> okay, let's see. I do have some little corners we need to glue down. I think one right here. Yes. Oh, there we go. A little spillage. And I think we have one up here. Mm, I'm not sure, but. I'll put a dab right there. <laughs> it bubbled. It bubbled on me. All right. Now, what else have we got going on? We've got buttons, something royal, a poem, a schematic, and two of something. Okay, I think we need to take this portion here and um, also make it, um, I think we need to also make it covered. So let me glue this part. Maybe that way I'll get all the edges. This one's pretty cute. I'm going to leave a little space here at the bottom because I'm going to put some lace on there. Looks nice. Okay, and how about this one? All right. been cute if I would have done the other side. The other side has uh, has baskets on it. Look at that. <laughs> Should have looked. Okay, this one. I just have it go down a tiny bit there. And there we go. Mm -hmm. You know, my little dog is out in the other room. And um, I hope that he doesn't start barking because I can't run in there fast enough. And um, if it's too loud for you, I apologize. I don't want to hurt anybody's ears. So. I don't know if I want to put that there or not. Let's see what's on our list. Two of something. I do have two of these paper daisies I made. Okay. Kind of big, but I thought they might be cute on here anyway. Maybe we can put one on this page. I'll put one over here. Yeah, I like that spread better. Let's get some glue on these. I did curl up the edges a little bit. That was before I knew I was going to put them in here, but uh, mm, let's try to get the uh, about right there. This one I put a little pop up. You see, it has a little pop up circle. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure that'll flatten down when we, you know, close the book some. And I'll put... All I did to make these was just draw 
like a daisy and then put a one inch circle in the middle and some dots of, uh, you know, your stickles. A few dots of stickles in the middle. This is uh, the iridescent. Oh no, this is the crystal. Yeah. Here or here did I want to put it? Mm -hmm. Maybe here. All right. If I need to, I will glue these down, but maybe I won't. Okay, now, let's see. Um, that was two of something. Let's check one off. I feel like I haven't got anything checked off yet. <clears throat> okay, two of something. A schematic. I have a schematic. I do have a schematic. Oh, schematic. Oh, here it is. Here's, actually, I have two. <laughs> Somewhere. Huh. Here it is. Yeah, I was looking in a box of some other things that I have, and um, I couldn't find... I don't know, something else I was looking for. So I got another box. Well, it's one of these little plastic containers like this. Those are from Walmart or Target. And um, let's put a couple schematic right here, I think. All right. Anyway, I found them in that little box and I thought, all right, it's exactly what I need. I didn't think I had any at all. Ooh, look under there. It says earthquake. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, earthquake. I live in earthquake territory. Yeah, my friends think I'm all crazy. For some reason, the earthquakes don't scare me, I guess. Um, you know, uh, if it was bad... Ooh, if it was bad enough, you know, where the... I don't know where things well I've been in ones that things start tumbling down but um, I don't know I guess I just know that they're here I, I was born here in California I haven't lived here my whole life though but um, I've lived here a while and uh, lived back east for a while and uh, then moved back to California. Most of my family was here, so I moved back to California. Um, I had some of my family back in Iowa too, but I decided to move back to CA. Yeah. I think we can't ask for any better <laughs> weather because um, you know, we do have earthquakes, but we don't have tornadoes. And, you know, <clears throat> we don't have tornadoes. We don't have, well, we do have floods, but I'm in an area where it just never floods. And um, I'm in Southern California, uh, the low desert. Not the low desert, eh, mid desert, not the high desert either, but just over the mountain from me is Palm Springs. So I think I'm going to put this, I was going to call this a royal butterfly, and I might do that if I can't find something royal. So I'm going to put this here, make it a little teeny tiny pocket. Let's do that. Anyway, this was a little, um, did I leave one out? Oh yeah, I was going to show you. It was a little tiny envelope like this, and it was uh, sectioned so that the envelope went the other direction, and I, did, I wanted it to go this way, so I just folded it for this way. You don't always have to follow the directions. 
especially in this craft. In this craft, everything's a go. Yes, ma'am, there's no right, there's no wrong. We just have fun and create best we can. Try different things, experiment. Um, I like to experiment most of the time. I don't do it on video though. <laughs> Except I am working on a um, raw cardboard art journal. And that is a definitely an experiment. But you know what? I am absolutely loving the way it's coming out. Just loving it. So this could be my something purple, even though, you know, I'm going to have a purple um, button here. Might put the button right there. So I'm going to add this to a little backing because it's just a... I'm going to add this to a little backing because it's just a, you know, 20 pound car, uh, 20 pound paper. That's just regular uh, copy paper. Let's see if I can cut this a little straighter here. Maybe just a tiny bit. And I would like to add it on here. Wonder. Wonder if I could just. I think I'll just cut this off and leave the bottom straight. Put some highlights. I hope I'm staying in frame, you guys. I wish you could yell at me. I really do. Now, I put my book down, and then I try to keep it there, and I mark my corners, and I forget all about it. I get so into doing what I'm doing, I just forget about it, so I'm sorry. I'm just going to put some of this down because I have it open. All right. Put this here. There. I like that kind of towards the corner. Now, let's see if it'll fit in my little pocket. And it will. How cute is that? I like it. Nope, over here. We're going to put this guy over here. Right about here. We want to put it up here. We could put it up here. Hmm. Well, look at it up there for a minute. Alright, now, I have this here. This could be our purple, too. Um, gee, I kind of like it there in the middle. Or, I don't want to cover up the, oops, I don't want to cover up the birdie. Uh, I don't want to cover up the rose. Bring it down here a little bit. Let's, uh, I think I like that. Let's do it. Now this is heavier cardstock, probably, it's either 85 pounds or um, could be 110 but I don't think so sometimes I use um, 67 pounds sometimes I use 85 pounds sometimes hmm. shoot that one's stuck down hmm. well Put it under here a little bit. That's okay. Anyway, I use 67. I use 80, 85. And uh, usually then 110. Cardstock. Alright. Now this is the place I usually put my notes. But what I really wanted to do... Oh, and I wanted to add some of this lace over here. But I want it smaller. I think I have a smaller one. Let me see. Whoop.
let's do that. We'll just cut this guy off there. And we'll add some ink. You know, <clears throat> I love paper, but I am a lover of lace. So um, I have lace always makes things so bulky, and um, you know I I do love a big chunky a big chunky um, journal, one that you have to set on its side, you know, <laughs> like this, so it'll so it'll stand up. But I know a lot of people they don't like those, but boy I do. <laughs> And I do make some like that. And there are some people out there that really love them. And actually, I'm such a a journal love them, love lover. I love them all. So chunky or not chunky. Um. All right. Let's see what we got over here. We can put it right here like that. What do you think? We're going to cover up the bird. That's what I think. Oh, we could put it like this. Kind of in the middle there. And we still have two birds and the roses. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to just use the um, glue stick. This is, this is the glue stick I'm using. Kind of looks like um, looks like a map of sorts. Like I don't know, a piece of Australia, a piece of Africa, or something. You know how you look at the maps on on the paper or on the globe. Yeah. Now I cut a piece of this purple little paper. Here it is. I thought we'd just cover up the notes this time and just make a pretty little thing there. Let's do that. I will also use the glue stick for this. It's small enough. Get every edge. There we go. Has a little bird in it too. Very cute. All right. Yeah, what did I do with my buttons? <laughs> my little buttons. I think I'm going to put them right there. You know what I just noticed? This is a pansy in there. A <laughs> daisy, sort of. I didn't even know that was in that picture. Funny how things happen, and then we got a pansy here, and we got daisies. How strange! Okay, let's put that over there. Not very much interactive this time. This number 14, I could put a, uh, a little thing on the side, a little dangle. I could. Let's put this a little bit under there and to the top. How's that? You like that? Slide her down just a bit. Nope, it's not going to let me slide her down. All right. There's that. I do want to add fragile. Handle with care somewhere. I see this needs a little bit of glue right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. That down. I'm going to put that little heart on here. Let's just shrewsh it up a little bit. 
I think I'll use this guy. Little fabric tap. Ought to be great. Just like that. And so you don't know what it says until you pull it out and it says, Oh, grounds for believing that something good may happen. Oh, don't you just love hope? What would we do without hope? Yes, indeed. All right, let's see what else. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit of lace along here. Well, we're going to put paper lace along there. How's that? Would that be okay? I hope so. I hope it'll be okay. And just like that. And a little bit of ink here and there. You know, I have tried making things without ink and they just don't look like they're finished to me. I don't know why. I like that pretty much. Okay, back to the glue stick. Alrighty. I like how this has a little arc to it, too. Um, yeah, just like that. Mm-hmm, just like that. Oh, well, we're 35 minutes right now. I'm almost done. We're going to go ahead and put uh, Fragile right here and kind of like that. Like this. This has a little bit. What can I do with my needle? Here it is. We don't want to be without our pin. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some lace on here and we're going to put black lace down here. I'm probably pretty much finished with this. I don't think, you know, I'm going to be um, really doing much more. But if I do, you know, when we go through the review, I'll definitely show you. And let's curl these babies up a little bit while I put the lace underneath. It can come out a little bit at the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Wow, it makes me want to put some over here. I might do that. Let's see, maybe two. Two. I think maybe two. Okay. A little string hanging on here. All right. Now this time I'm going to use the small glue stick because um, it's a small area. And the lace has um, holes in it. And I think I'll turn it upside down like that. So, oh, isn't that cute? I like it. And then that's going to bounce off this, off this, off this. How cute. Yep, I'm liking it. All right. Put some down here. Hope you can see. I'm going to have to be buying a new uh, camera soon. I borrowed this camera that I've been using. And soon I'm going to have to be giving it back. So I will have to be 
looking around. They're so expensive. I don't know. It's going to take me a while. I'm going to ask the person if I can hang on to it for a while. And, um, oh, I see a little bit here that wants to come up or, whoop, whoops, that needle fell in my lap. See if I can put this down. Okay. Down in there. Pull over. Yeah. Oh, that turned out so nice. I'm kind of like Tina and I love black lace and I love black in my papers and, you know, dark papers. I think they make things so rich and vibrant and so that's that's my reason <laughs> all right guys I think we've got it finished and um, here it is see we got our flowers and our lace and our purple and we're gonna call this our royal butterfly and I don't have a poem so you know what and here's our and here's our bottom lace and our other daisy and our other pansy and our collaging. I sure hope you like this. And uh, next time we're going to be doing CW Planner number 15. And I'm anxious to get going on that. So um, I will find a poem. And maybe I can find a um, crown or something like that too. So I'm not going to check those off, but I will check off something purple that we got. We got a schematic, and we have buttons. We have two buttons here. Okay, guys. I hope you have a great rest of the day, whatever time it is in your part of the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.